This is an amazing group of doctors to be a part of. I'm really excited to learn from the best of the best. Being able to interact with nine other innovative doctors in our profession is just a unique opportunity to gain new insight and ideas for our practices. No individual is as smart as the group, so sharing ideas with other people is, is just an awesome way to help grow your practice. What this summit has allowed me to do is to anticipate maybe what's to come years from now, rather than just solving the problems that exist right now. I've already come away with a number of uh, pearls that I'll be taking back to my practice at home. The ideas that have been flowing, I can't even keep up. What I found in this group of people and the opportunities we've had to visit with each other is these are practitioners who are always trying to find out what the next best way to meet their patients' needs and to build a practice. It's a very, very exciting program. So Best Practices is a program that Cooper Vision initiated back in 2015. The idea was that in these kind of dynamic competitive environments, there's always those practices that seem to figure it out. They seem to figure out a way to do inventive, original, innovative things, and their patient experience is great, and their practices grow and thrive. And so we created best practices to identify those practices and practitioners and give them a vehicle to tell their story. And the idea was that as they told their stories, other practitioners would be able to learn from that, and ultimately we'd elevate the entire profession. So Cooper right now is at the head of finding out where really are the new insights, where really should we be. So they win from that standpoint. Everybody here wins from the new ideas they develop and the industry wins from sort of advancing the thought leadership. It's a lot more work than simply offering somebody a prize, but I think it really engages and promotes growth for everyone. Since being part of Cooper Vision's best practices in 2018, my vision of the future of optometry has changed for the positive, actually. I've changed the way I do things in the office. I've changed my staff around, changed some products. Um, I'm really making a lot of changes uh, to be able to prepare better for the future uh, with all these challenges that are coming in the healthcare field now. We've started training super technicians or patient concierge staff members so that we have a more fluid and streamlined exam process from start to finish. So we've already tried to put some of those ideas into play. I think one of the greatest moments in best practices each year is when all the honorees get to meet each other for the first time. It's an interesting mix of confidence, um, humility, um, excitement, People recognize in, in some way that I've done enough to get here and my peers have chosen me to be here, but also that there's so much more that can be done. So it quickly settles into, I need to learn this and I need to learn this. And there's, it, just, it just goes into that, what else can we do phase, regardless of how people come into it. It's really fascinating to watch. It has been just tremendous. I feel like I have a whole new network of friends and colleagues that I can talk with, get ideas from, share knowledge with. It's really become a group of, of true friends and colleagues that we can bounce ideas off, um, we can learn from each other, and it's really going to be on a continual basis. It's not just a, a one time and done. We've made these friendships that will last for a lifetime. And uh, with Cooper Vision, just a whole new respect and level of connection between corporate um, optometry com compared to private practice. I think the value of the Best Practices program for myself was the ability to give some recognition to myself and my staff. It was wonderful to network with the other doctors and practices. It was fun to be pushed in a way to think outside the box in the Idea Lab. I just think the whole project from start to finish has been rewarding and I would encourage any practice to apply if they feel like they're interested in learning new things and moving forward in an innovative way. I would say to someone who was thinking about applying for this is don't sell yourself short. Really what you do is special and if you think that you are a candidate for this, I encourage you to apply. As a Best Practices alumni, I really hope to stay engaged. Um, I've done so already in texting or emailing other Best Practice doctors, still talking about ideas that we've discussed earlier or new ones that we've had. And I would love the opportunity to continue to encourage other doctors to apply and help build the ideas that we've started to create with what we've done so far.